in our drive toward purpose, I want to look at this principle that fear can lead us to quit. And I want to illustrate it through a story from my own life. When I was in Army Airborne School to learn to become a paratrooper, we had to jump out of a 34 foot tower at one point. Now the idea was that if you can jump out of a 34 foot tower, then the instructors can get you to jump out of an airplane at 1,250 feet, which is the altitude that you jump at airborne school. So you can imagine that's very fearful. To step out of a 34 foot tower into the bright blue, as it were, is not a normal thing to do. Now we were attached to a strap when we jumped out of that tower so that the strap would catch us and then we slid down a little rail and gently went to the ground. But still, to jump out of that tower took courage. You had to overcome some fear. And I remember the day that we were doing the tower, we're standing in line. Now, I was in line at the bottom of the tower, but the line went on the ground to the tower, and then the line went up a zigzag staircase to the top of the tower where then you would jump out, right? Well, I'm in the line, I'm on the ground, and all of a sudden I hear from the top, this guy go, oh, heck no, no way, I'm not doing this. And this soldier uh, comes pushing his way down the line, down the zigzag staircase. He gets to the bottom and he shoots out of there. And he quit. And he quit. Now, I went on along with most of my classmates, and we finished airborne school. We ended up jumping out of the airplane five times and earning our airborne wings. Um, I don't remember anyone else uh, quitting in such dramatic fashion during our class. I often think about that guy. I really do. I often think about that guy because I look back on airborne school with a lot of fond memories. All the things I learned, the courage I demonstrated, the overcoming of fear. But I wonder what that guy thinks. When he thinks about airborne school, what does he think about? Most likely he thinks about how he did not overcome his fear, how he quit, how he let fear control him. And I bet he lives with a lot of regret. Folks, we don't want to live with regret. So what we need to do is overcome our fears. If we, in our drive towards purpose and finding place in this world, if we let fear drive us and we succumb to it all the time, then we're going to live lives of regret. Find your wellspring of courage. Overcome your fears. Don't quit prematurely. Drive through the things that scare you. And you'll find your place and your purpose without regret.